hold up before the BT comes and gets me. I need to make sure I know where I'm going. Bye! Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to do this! Oh, GG's. Oh, God. I fucking hate that I'm carrying her. I hate that I'm carrying her. Oh, uh, she's so fucking useless. Oh god. See, I would love, I would just love to carry that. But if I carry anything there, I drop her. Which is some fucking BS. Jump up, please. Oh. What the fuck is going on with her? Great, so I can't even go over there. Oh, let me see, can I go here? I can't. Jump up. Nice. Oh shit, how am I supposed to get over there now? I fucking hate that she's on my back. Yeah, I can't make that. Uh, over there. Sh that should be able to help over here. I still don't even know what this is. I have no clue what this is for. What's oh, a zip line? From where to where? Appreciate you, mate. Well, now I know BTs can catch up to a fucking car. 
That's a GG. Next time I go through BT territory in a car, I'm just gonna have to zoom through it. Now I can drop her. Hold on. Bam. Well, actually everything. Nothing on my back, all right. All right. <coughs> and the stupid part about this is we're so close. Like we're literally right here. This way, right? Yep. Beer bottle, you break me. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Joel. <laughs> I've never even heard of the beer bottle one. I didn't even know that was a thing. But I fucking. <laughs> I'm glad we're back to this. I'm glad we're back to this. I might need to go onto that side. I might need to go to this side. Ooh, we are like about to run out of. Not gonna lie, I forgot you were alive. Hmm, interesting. Josh being fake? Hmm, interesting. And I've just been here playing Death Stranding. We've all been doing... <laughs> We've all been entertaining ourselves. Join twins. Before we were born, then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still so one. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy. Her joy. <clears throat> Her pain was my pain. Me and fake? No, always. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body, brain and spirit. Oh, we barely made it. We had each, just for us. One we share. I don't wait till she finished. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different, that would make us whole. 
It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share, share alike. I knew it could change the world. Okay. With Amelie's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. She is literally right here. Thank you, Sam. Of course. I feel whole again. You know what you <laughs> You done? Sorry, Lachna. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, both of you. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what Lachna's gotta say. What happened to her? She was literally just awake. I love you so much. I love you so much. It's good to hear your voice again. I shouldn't have kept you in the dark. I tried to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. What happened to her? No. Make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me. I wonder if it's because of... I think it's because we removed the... The BT from her, the the kid. <laughs> Damn. Why is all of Mama shit so sad? And like how it said, damaged a hundred percent. Jeez, that's a lot. 13,013, almost. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lachna, Lachna connected. We're whole again. So I'm pretty sure we finished chapter 5 then. <clears throat> Pedro, when were you born? Take a guess, Joel. Take a guess. Oh shit, all of that's... Mm. That's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. This stuff isn't even... 
Oh, this is the bot delivery. Okay, never mind. I thought this was my stuff. Correct, Joel. Correct. All that she went through. I had no idea. I thought... I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose. That she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty okay. sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her Ka passed over to the other side, but her Ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Well, that's sad. <clears throat> Interesting, Joel, because the people who were born, uh, who were born after the year 2000, they lose all their points. Wow, couldn't be me. Stabilizer? I like that little thing right there is shaped like a heart. Or like testicles. Sis? Oh. I can hear you. We're whole again. Aww. Like before in the womb. Remember? That family's like. Hakna. This family's got some issues. They've been through some shit. <clears throat> nope. But we lost Mama. Not really, Thanks but you, we did. Is finally within reach. And you, Edge Not City. Ragnar, your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. What's up? We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out. The munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. What the fuck? It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. World War I? Given the time discrepancies, 
Maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I... I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Fair enough. Your work is great. Buffering? What's buffering, Josh? What's happening? Okay, taking my points too far. It's never too far. Which song, Bajal? What is it? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I, I, don't, I, I. At this point, I don't even know how to respond to you. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to you. Oh, look, little figurine. Pedro, you might as well ban me if you want to take my points. Didn't you say that uh, he just go on another account? <laughs> Bam. Drink up, Sammy boy. I don't hate you, Joel. I don't hate you. You're the most freaking best. Oh, please tell me I put the hat on, not the glasses. Okay, good. I can never hate. I can never hate you, my guy. Unless you make me play Minecraft or Fortnite. Back it up. I like how the figurines don't even. I like how the figurines just don't even fit up there anymore. <laughs> now they have to be on the table. Um, sure. Why not? Here, while he's taking a shower, I will BRB. Um, sure, why not? <coughs> you best believe I will, dude, I'm having a lot of fun. What do you mean, Joel? A lot of fun on, with what? On the roof of a very small... Okay, I've, I've seen a similar one to that one, Joel. I have seen a similar uh, joke to that one, except it's on a plane. a vaporized extract formulated from your urine. Urine. Compared to our first iteration, 
This EX grenade contains a higher concentration of your fluids, which should make it more effective against BTs. Whenever you avail yourself of your private room's facilities, we will collect the results and produce additional units for your use. So you needn't worry about uh, running out. Um, my sister's getting long ass lecture from my mom, that's why. <laughs> Why is that fun? Why is that fun? Petra, here's a joke, you. Oh my god, Josh, that's so toxic! Why would you ever say something like that to me? Ah, oh, now I got something in my eye. Fuck. I'm definitely not crying because you said that, Josh. Wait, what the fuck was this? What's up, buddy? Ow. It's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> oof, Joel, oof. Um, I want to get out. How do I get out? Nope, I don't want to do that. You should be defending your sister, Joel. Why can't I get out? Why do I not have the option to get out? What the fuck is this? Oh, check on BB. Oh, where's my BB? What the fuck? Lou? Lou? Is that what we named him? Her? Ooh. It? Looking for this? Oh, Surprise. hi. Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. What's Your up? beloved BB has a serious issue. Oh. Episode 6, Deadman. Oh, what's the issue? You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. Okay. That's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, oh. A BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Which is a good thing. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Oh. Cease functioning. That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. Oh, God. Are you sure this will work? <clears throat> of course. One catch, though. 
the surgery may erase its memories. Erase? It will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me. Try and start. Again. Oh god. Uh. Oh. And this is why I hate these things. <laughs> Bro, don't take my BB. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. <laughs> what am I going to join him? <clears throat> I don't understand what's going on there. some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. <clears throat> Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? Excessive weight is very central to solving the mystery of the death stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. Whoa, I what's going on? Might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. <coughs> Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. <laughs> Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. 
Like how there's only one monster there when there I left two last time. That's interesting.